Bonjour et bienvenue sur le site champagnejames.com. G'day, and welcome to another edition of Champagne Jane TV. I'm here with a very good friend of mine, Charlie. We've known each other for a long time. Charlie's quite the wonder kid of the English sparkling wine industry. And we're here on a beautiful summer's day in Kent. We're close to the Saxon Shore Way and we're about six miles away from the sea. We're near the village of Appledore and we're here at Gisborne. Charlie, so nice to see you again. Lovely to see you, James. I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> the sorry about the weather. Yeah, I'm sorry the sun isn't shining. I wanted to say to you, I, I know you obviously you've been, you've been in and around sparkling wine for, what, like, now on 15 years now. If you hadn't been a winemaker, what would you have done instead? Oh, good question. Um, I've always wanted to be a chef. I always like food. Yeah. Are you uh, well, I'm okay, yeah. amateur, but yeah. yeah, good. I think I um, a lot of similar sort of skills. I think for a winemaker, you get in, yeah. in, in, in cooking, you know, all that. And sort you put of, flavors together. Yeah, exactly. Combining flavors like and sort of attention to detail and, and techniques and all that sort of thing. So I find that quite attractive. Yeah. Mm, very interesting. And so, and I know you've also worked overseas as well, haven't you? Yes. Yes. I've done lots of stints. Um, worked in France and Germany and then further afield in New Zealand and California and Australia. And you, didn't you work for, so Ridgeview is a very famous English sparkling wine producer in East Sussex and in fact Mike Roberts, the founder, was responsible for teaching everybody else in the English wine industry how to make sparkling wine because at Plumpton where you studied they didn't actually teach people about English sparkling wine. But you were at Ridgeview and then what made you come across to, to, to Gusborne here? Well, I might put the umbrella up actually because we're getting very wet. There was, there was the opportunity in, in 2013. There, we go. there was the opportunity in 2013 to to come across to uh, to Gusborne, and um, I'd, I'd worked with Gusborne fruit for for a number of years before, and I always thought that you know it was some of the best fruit in the country. Always came in super ripe, super clean, and uh, really expressive. So the opportunity to work uh, on a site like this was, was really really special. And, and really, you know, we the nice thing about here is we don't buy any grapes, we don't sell any grapes. So it's just the grapes that we grow on the estates right. that we make the wine from. And it was first planted in 2002, first vintage 2010. 2004 was the first, oh, first vintage, yeah. uh, first um, wines were planted, and, um, and 2006 was the first vintage. And, oh, I got and, that completely wrong, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> 2010, Blonde de Blanc was the one that Andrew Weaver, the founder, um, a very, a very, um, very entertaining doctor. Um, that was what he seduced me with when, when, when we first met, I think. Um, great vintage, so, yes. great vintage. Yes. 2010 is one of the, the sort of standout uh, vintages in English wine. And, and we've, we've come up here because actually we were going to try and have a look at the vineyards, which um, you might be able to point out, but it's, it's obviously because it's a bit wet, that may or may not work. I can point but, them out in the distance over yeah. here. Um, so we have our, our first uh, vineyard, it was uh, Butness, that was planted over there in the distance, Cherry Garden. You know, these plants, first plantings were back in 2004. And then, uh, See the wine there? Yeah, the in the distance. distance. And then Boot Hill, which is the, the third vineyard in the, in the back there, was planted in six and seven. And that was always third choice. And this is the interesting thing about planting vineyards is, you know, John and Andrew, when they planted the first vines, you do all the analysis and dig all your pits and, uh, yeah. and everything. And, um, and they said, that's your best site. And these sites are good, but our third choice for me is outstanding. It's far better. Wow. And, and until you, you, you satellites, didn't you, GPS to actually do that? Yeah, yeah. And all the technology. Temperature. Vines, make the wines, we don't have to do it again. Right, and how many, so how many hectares do you have under the now? We've, we've got about 60 hectares here at Gusborne, yeah. And you're making, how, how much does that make? What about 300,000? 